Hello. Hi. Welcome to the first unwanted vlog. Last week we asked you guys for some suggestions because we wanted to do a Q&A, get to know the face behind the brand. We're going to get to those questions later. At the moment, Kiss just getting ready. I'm going to make some brownies. Very special brownies. I just realised how that sounded. Not in that way. They are not special brownies. They are brownies which are PCOS friendly. I have pauses to go varying syndrome, PCOS as it's also known, and I've been following a diet specifically catered to people with PCOS so that the symptoms of the PCOS are not inflamed. I will link the website where I found the recipe for these brownies for you, for anyone who's interested, any sisters they're called. I'm gonna go ahead and make them now, so let's get cracking. I think that PCOS is like such an underrated issue. Does anyone else feel that way? Like when I first got diagnosed, I don't really look anything into it. And your GP doesn't really tell you much about it because they're a GP, they're not um, a specialist in, in that kind of thing. Um, but I just thought, I just thought like it was just a fertility issue. Like, and don't get me wrong, that in itself is bad, but I didn't think there was all this other stuff like, you know, potential insulin resistance or, you know, some people get hair, some people gain weight, can't lose weight. There's pain with it. There's, you know, emotional roller coaster. <laughs> you know, there's, there's so many other side effects. I just had no idea. And I think, I think um, it is underrated and I think there should be more awareness about it. And even me, I got it diagnosed like 10 years ago. So when I was 20 and there is just so much that I am still learning. Do your research if you have it. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy what you can find out about your body. You know you're uh, making an alternative recipe when you've just had to skin and start puring a sweet potato to go inside. It would also help if we had a blender, but I just got a fork. I absolutely suck at whisking. I just find it too hard and my arms get too tired and I really can't be bothered. And I'm using a fork again, so. I think that's harder. I'm so weak. My favorite bit is when you mix the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. Blanc. Chocolatey magic. Mm -hmm. Right, let's get these in a tray. Here they are. Uh, they're topped with some almond flakes for some good fats. So they're gonna go in the oven. They smell nice and chocolatey, so hopefully I did it right again. Okay, now that they're in the oven, I am going to get ready for our Q&A. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Can start again? Yeah. I know. What are we doing? Hey, serious. Okay. Terrible. Okay. Ready? Start laughing. Hey guys, it's Kit and Lisa from Unwanted Apparel. As promised, we are going to do our Q and A for you guys. So. We had uh, quite a lot of questions through, so thank you very much to everyone who sent us one. Uh, we may do a follow up with other questions in the future, so let's get to it. Okay, question one. Um, a lot of you asked this question, so I'm just going to summarise it. But basically, you were asking us what inspired us to do mm. Wanted Apparel. Take it away, Kit. Yeah, so um, as some of you may know, I'm a personal trainer. 
wanted to do a clothing brand for, for a lot of my clients, they, they struggled to find, you know, awesome fitting wearing gear whilst they're working out and stuff. So, you know, I, was, I mentioned to Lisa that I wanted to start a clothing brand um, and then she came up with an awesome idea to uh, put our personalities in there. Um, that's when we decided to come up with the alternative twist. We both know gothic wear, we both know alternative wear, uh, we're both interested in it. I mean, Kit is always dressed quirky. Always, I like yeah. my quirky dress and and that's when we came up with the idea for Unwanted. Unwanted means as well something um, unique and special and uh, not normal. Yeah, not the norm. Yeah. Okay, question number two. How did you guys meet? Um, this one's a funny one. Uh, mm. We met online. We met on a, a dating website. And it was really funny because at the time, I was actually going through um, a lot of anxiety and uh, mental health issues. I literally actually just signed up to several dates just to get out of the house. <laughs> so I wasn't looking for... Any kind so of relationship, <laughs> absolutely not. Mm -hmm. um, Kate was actually the last of the dates that I had that week. Um, Save the last till best. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Kate that does, <laughs> Kate does this thing <laughs> where he always messes up sayings, <laughs> and that was oh, just an yeah. pure example. Like you guys got to see, it. save the last till best. <laughs> There was just something about me and Kit that, that absolutely clicked. Mm -hmm. um, On our first date, crazy. We, we laughed the entire mm -hmm. time. He kept talking to me about Saw, the film um, series, for a very long time. And then he offered me a lift home, to which I declined through, you know, fear of my own safety. I was going through a lot of uh, mental health issues, so, you know, I called him for a second date. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, presto! Okay, question number three. three. Name an annoying habit about each other. I'll let you go first. She's got far too many <laughs> to name in this short video. Every time, particularly the kitchen, mm -hmm. so anytime she gets anything mm -hmm. from the kitchen, she'll leave those doors open. So the drawers are open, the cupboards are open, every door's open. It's true, I do do. Because apparently my entire family does this. Like, yeah. I didn't know it was a thing. Mm. Um, so but we leave, we leave cupboard doors and drawers open everywhere we go. Do you guys know when in the film The Sixth Sense, um, the mom character, she walks out of the kitchen for a split second, comes back, and then suddenly all the cupboard <gasps> doors are open, and she goes... <gasps> I did not notice what was different about the room. <laughs> I was like, she's walked Normal. out, she's walked in, like, nothing's yeah. changed, like, what's going on? It's just something which doesn't register with me. Yeah. So, annoying habit about Kit. Currently, the habit that is annoying me the most during lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely is every time you speak and you have something important to say <laughs> you take the longest <laughs> pause see how annoying that was i took a slight pause yeah. then he'll be like lisa i've got it and it might be a breakthrough for one of it might be that he knows what to have for tea tonight it might be like you know an epiphany i don't know mm -hmm. but he goes lisa i've got it that's so me. <laughs> and then by this point, I'll go, right, I'm lost in dress now. And then I'll look at my phone, stop listening. And he's like, no, no, I've got it. I've got it. I've really got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put an alarm on my phone to remind me to take my bins out. <laughs> It'll be literally exactly. something like that. And it takes forever. It takes forever. Okay, next question. What did you do before Unwanted? Mm. Um, I would like to point out that actually both of us work two jobs. We still do what we do before Unwanted. My other job is I'm a personal trainer. So I do uh, in one-to-one, -one, in-person personal training. Obviously not now during the lockdown. So uh, everything is now done 
um, online. I do online coaching, um, online training through Zoom, etc. Um, I work in finance. I work with a really nice office full of really, really nice people. Mm. Um, so I'm really privileged to have that. Technically, it's like a, a nine to five, Monday to Friday, but I work in a city over from me, about an hour's drive away each day. So my eight hour day every day becomes a 10 hour day. And then we come back here have tea together, catch up, and then we're straight on unwanted. Straight. So mm -hmm. we are both working our asses off, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, it's worth every single second of it, and we love it. The uh, aim, of course, would be for unwanted to take over our lives and us be full time with that. Mm -hmm. Like, that would yeah. be insane and amazing. Um, so, fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Oh, reality check. <laughs> Yums. Okay, next question. What are you doing during your time in lockdown? And so in between clients, I'm cracking on with all unwanted stuff. So um, as you can see, there's been you know a lot more designs, a lot more stuff coming out on social media, and that's just me really having more time. And you were still able to um, keep up your personal training appointments yeah. online. Yeah, it's just. No commute just, time. Exactly, now. yeah. So I saved the commute time, um, you know, so it's, it's yeah, it's, it's really good. Uh, I'm also working from home still because I am able to. Well, like I say, I'm saving two hours a day every day because I'm not commuting mm. now. Um, and we're definitely getting more unwanted juices flowing, which mm. is great. Very good. And another thing that I have done during my time is I am really interested in mindfulness. So I took mm. an online diploma. So now I have a diploma in just the, the foundations of mindfulness, the basics. I do want to pursue uh, specific categories uh, down the line um, for like stress reduction and stuff like that. Uh, do you guys have any tattoos? Me, none, zero. But I have no pain threshold. <laughs> Nothing zero. you could take. I need <laughs> I have two. Oh no fucking me. So yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Um, and my other one is my death moth, which I don't know if you guys can see that one. Yeah. You absolutely one. love American. Tattoos. Yes, American I style mean. tattoos. I love. Yeah, you know. He literally got that the day before lockdown was announced. Yes, as well, it was. So he was it, very lucky. it was very lucky. Um, not to do with tattoos, but I've also got a tongue piercing. The original logo, because we've we've. Uh, mm -hmm. modified it since is a uh, it had a tongue with a tattoo piercing and that was my are you saying you based the the logo yes. on <laughs> <laughs> uh, what workouts are you doing right now yeah. uh, strength training yeah in short uh, just before lockdown we were doing crossfit mm -hmm. yeah, um, which we love absolutely, absolutely love. love it so we started CrossFit. So we started CrossFit. Um, we go twice a week mm -hmm. to our local CrossFit gym. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, some of you may have heard it. it's the five 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 style uh, strength training, um, which we absolutely love. Um, it's love um, it. Real, real good in it. Yeah, yeah, it's the first time um, like I've ever actually you've enjoyed looked weights. forward yeah. to it. Yeah, you really enjoyed weights, which is mm -hmm. good. It's nice mm -hmm. to find something that she enjoys. What music do you like to work out to? Uh, rock, heavy rock, metal, heavy metal. Mm -hmm. I love trancey music. Yeah, KMFDM. Okay. That's that's yeah. that's okay. one of the uh, awesome bands that I love. But yeah, so things like Corn, um, Lincoln Park. One of my favourite. That was actually really good. For my the burpees Lincoln one. Park. Yeah, it one that got me like exactly. contemplating maybe doing a burpee <laughs> once burpees. in a while. But then I was like, <laughs> yeah. no. If you could invite a celebrity to your dinner party, Ooh. who would it be? Tom, Tom Hanks! Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love Tom Hanks. It's not a fancying thing, I don't fancy Tom. I just love him <laughs> as a person. Um, I think he's a great actor. I love all of his films. He's so nice. Mm. I went down to London because he wrote a book. 
uh, called the uncommon type. And he I was went like, down. I went down. I don't care. I don't, <laughs> I wasn't with anyone. I was just there with Tom. There was no one in the room but me and him. So, but I went down with my with Tom Hanks T-shirt. I also have a Tom Hanks uh, coaster at work. Do you know about that? No. Which was given to me by Secret Santa. One day. I hope to meet him properly. He could be watching this. <laughs> yeah, hi Tom. Best mates. Who were you going to say? Bruce Lee. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, final question. Which I think is the most important of all the questions. By far. Um, would you rather fight a horse-sized duck or ten duck-sized horses? I bet we have opposite answers. I bet we would do. I would for sure fight the 10 duck sized horses. <laughs> so, a horse sized duck. So, the duck is the size of a horse. Yeah, yeah. it's a horse oh, yeah. sized yeah. duck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, by far. It's a massive. As in a massive ass duck. Massive duck. Right. So, go on. You, you, you're going to capture the, yeah. the massive duck. I have to fight him. How do you fight him? <laughs> Well, I don't know if you, any of you have watched Star Wars, you know, you wrap the legs round, take him down. I'm only five foot one and a half myself. Um, I ain't taking on a horse sized duck that is twice the size of me. I could just kick the little horses in the face. Oh. <laughs> I could! Oh, and I could dude. run! <laughs> if the question is, would you rather fight? So I'm gonna have to kick him. You have to fight him. Just you fight to the death. So I'll just kick him in the face and run. Kick him in the Easy. Yeah. Or would I befriend the horses? Would they be No, be these friendly? are killer horses. Killer horses. With lasers attached to their yeah. heads. These are they eat you or that's it. You have to fight them. They eat me. Fight to the death. Then yeah, ten duck-sized horses is, is the only way of me coming out alive. So thanks for the questions. Thank you. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, we hope to do more vlogs coming up for you guys in the future. It's a very exciting year for Unwanted, very, I think. Very, very, very exciting. We have lots mm. of ideas, not just new designs, but potentially new products on the horizon. Mm -hmm. And we're loving all of you interacting with us and we just think that you're all awesome and we are forever grateful for you guys giving us the support and being there, so... Yeah, so thank you guys for uh, watching our Q&A. It was absolutely brilliant for us to do this for you. I just think without any of you guys, none of this would be possible at all. So me and Lisa are, you know, highly appreciative for your support. <laughs> oh, dude. Cut!